Hello and welcome to another Miniature Realms video and this is the second of my um, Bolt Action 8th Army vlogs. Um, so if you've uh, you've watched the first one, um, if you haven't it's probably worth watching it now because um, um, it explains that I, I'm a complete novice to Bolt Action and uh, this was a bit of a whim really. I really this is this is born from a, a painting project. Um, I plan to do a 8th Army, eighth Army Bolt Action project in 2021. Um, I thought, well, I'll just buy a tank and, 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 and one section and just paint those. And as you can see, that's already grown quite a lot. Um, and I, I've built everything that I've got and um, I've got a couple more things on the way. So I just thought I'd talk, talk you through the, the project as it is, really. Um, so I've, I've sort of made an initial just under thousand point list um, I don't know the rules properly I don't know whether it's competitive or not but I I just wanted to, to, to paint some of the models I like the look of um, I did want the theme that, that everything could be in a transport as much the way that the um, that the eighth army the desert rats lived out of their vehicles in the hostile conditions and they were reliant on them order to make sure that everyone could hop in something so there are enough transports or seats for all the bums in this um, this force as it will be when I've um, the, the, the last thing that I've got um, in the thousand point list arrives um, so essentially what I have at the moment is a, is a second lieutenant um, and he has a, an assistant he has a, a trooper with him it's like he's a, a bat his batman um, he's um, whatever rank he would be maybe a sergeant or corporal or something like that looking after the officer um, I've uh, I made a spotter um, as a conversion using a head from the British paratrooper um, um sprue just bought one of the one-off sprues for the parts um there's a medic i'll do some close-up shots of a couple of the little and minor sort of kit bashy conversions i've done um and i've got two eight-man sections um and they've both got a brengan and a, and, a, and a thompson in them um two two support teams there's, there's a mortar team and an anti-tank um, gun team there as well. Um, there's the M3 Stuart tank, which I um, was, was one of the first things I wanted to do. Really, is partly why the project is because I wanted to paint that. Um, and I've um, kit bashed a crewman for him because the the crewman you get with the with the kit, and it's it's a warlord kit, but it's the old Atari kit. The crewman you get is basically sized like a scale like a child compared to the heroic scale warlord games um miniatures so while he's probably a little bit big for the tank um i've kit bashed a um a, a driver using the one of the prone bodies um cut off a couple of arms and then a paratrooper's head um which i've um carved off the the paratrooper's um insignia um, and then we have three Chevrolet um, 15 ton trucks essentially and they can all hold eight so I think it works out that one of these each of these two sections goes in them and then there's with the four kind of officer stroke medic etc people and the four for the teams would essentially be bums on seats it's more of a fluffy thing than anything else um, I have a 25 pounder and the quad tractor pulling it that's a separate kit that I decided to get um, and then these four guys on their own they will be used when the last thing arrives um, so I've got on order at the moment um, the what's the kit called the army 8th army carrier patrol so you get two Bren carriers and um, two sprues I think of infantry um, and that will I will make use those two sprues and these to basically make up two five-man veteran squads and they will ride in those Bren carriers as well so keeping with that theme I think all of that then and so it'll be basically four sections two of eight two of five um the two weapons teams the 25 pounder the, the the m3 stew and all with all with transports um i think it's like 990 i have no idea whether it's any good so i'm sure put lots of comments below um, i'm not going to be playing it for a while so i do have time to make some adjustments and things but it's kind of going to become my uh, little painting project and these future vlogs will very much be painting progress vlogs um i do have one more thing on the way as well i um um there was a making use of the lovely discounts that warlord tend to send you through email there was a spend 50 pounds get a 
box box free um, and essentially as a 20 pound box was on the list and one of the one of the 10 different boxes that you were able to choose was a Matilda tank which was on my sort of future shopping list um, and I had a few things that were I wanted to buy a few things that were coming up and I thought well if I get those now but I spend that 50 pounds I wasn't planning on doing it right away but if I spend it now then I can get my tank for free that's my logic anyway um, I think it's quite a good deal really because I really did just spend I think I spent 52 and then got the 20 pound and 50 is the free shipping thing so got um the box for free uh, the tank for free on top of that which is good um so yeah i'm really interested in people's comments as i said i wrote the list in terms of i used um easy army i wrote the list in terms of what seemed right um i did a tiny bit of research historically about what the sort was in the sections and things like that um, making sure i didn't make too much of a mess with what i've built um i've had a little bit of help from um steer on point hq asking him about conversions and bits and bobs and things he did and how he based things and uh, probably loads and low bomb loads of questions Questions. and the same with, with Ken at Miniature Wargaming Warriors as well and he sort of mentioned about the I think on the original list I did I put the the Thompsons on um, on the sergeants and he said but you know put them on someone else the way they're built it doesn't really matter at the moment but yeah I'd probably have them as the second section leader so that they can go off with the Bren, Bren gun and, and put a rifle in the sergeant's hands but until I paint insignia on them or if even if I do that it's not going to become an issue so to speak um, but again no idea how good the list would be I, I don't care I don't play games competitively and I wasn't planning on playing this competitively um, I'm sure it's not broken if it is then <laughs> I'm sure someone will tell me as well um, but it's I'm looking forward to painting it I think it's going to be a really cool little themey thing uh, I'm looking forward to the last bits turning up they won't be till June because I might add them to an order with um, with stuff that's on pre-order some American Civil War epic scale stuff that's on pre-order um, but I have got enough to keep me going <laughs> as you can see here so what I'll do now is I'll just um, clear the test and I'll just show you close up on a couple of the minor little kit bashes I did um, and I'll bring this little video to a close okay so just a little close up on the um, tank commander and yes he's going to be overscaled to this tank um, so I don't, you know I'm, I'm being learning about the, the merits of uh, 1 to 56 and what 28 mil is obviously isn't a real scale and the true scale and all the other things but um, this little dude here is just too tiny when you look at him next to the infantry so i think it looks silly so i should have maybe gone with the hatch down but i quite like the idea of the commander and i thought the best way of getting a close representation was to um to find a bare aid head which i didn't have in my eighth army kit and i needed some binoculars as well for the spotter and things so i picked up a couple of sprues actually with the spruce out that's going on at the moment actually i don't know if you were in the spruce out. one of them maybe but i picked up a the, the british paratrooper um sprue um and i've used um one of the the heads on the spotter um but i've, I've used one of the these you see the buried heads where i've um trimmed off the the paratroopers insignia so i think he he does all right i've put the set of binoculars from the british army weapon sprue um in one of his hands and the other hand was just um hat was holding a mortar shell i think i've just trimmed that out and put it to the side he's not glued in at the moment so he'll fall out if i wiggle him around too much but i you know he's gonna be a bit cozy in there but i quite like it looks a bit cool um so that's the first thing so let's look at the medic okay i'm just using stuff from the eighth army kit um i wasn't running a, any a scots regiment but i wanted to use uh one of the well, the hats is something different it's keeping he's got a fag in his mouth as well so clearly um a stressful job um the pack looks a bit messy because it's um vallejo plastic putty um but it's, it's actually smoothed off but basically got one of the normal backpacks um the arm his right arm if i scroll around his right arm is was holding um mortar shells there's one that holds the mortar shells in the kit so i've kept the handle trimmed that off and i just attached that into one of the normal backpacks put a couple of the small pouches on the side um and then a couple on the other side as well you know I'm, I, that's obviously not historically accurate for um, a medic's bag but you know so be it 
they don't come with medics bags on the spirit i haven't researched what they really look like but it's plausible as a, some kind of doctor's bag or something or other um but anyway there's my medic the next one that's my spotter so he's got some um, that's a, a injured head i believe from the um um, paratrooper sprue just wanted something different from being using the same um, heads all the time in the 8th army so he's got a thompson just think it looks cool down in that pose it didn't fit quite right at that angle so i've put a little bit of green stuff around his shoulder to make sure it fits um, bash at the end of the day so most of this is pretty standard stuff but i wanted something crouching i wanted him to look like he was hiding um his left arm i uh, sort of repositioned twice i repositioned it at the elbow and at the wrist the wrist and the binoculars are from the paratrooper sprue um so sorry, the hand and the binoculars are from the paratrooper sprue so i cut the original wrist off uh, which i think was the officer's whistle but i had to reposition the elbow as well to get it where i wanted it so a bit of green stuff there just to sort of sculpt the flesh back in because there was a big hole where the elbow would have been but i quite like that he's crouching down and just, just put his binoculars down and the straps hanging down it's quite that's quite fun again fun what you can do quite easy with a kit bash um, and the final one this is just very very just building a normal model but i thought i'd show you my officer as he is anyway so there's a little bit of fit around his shoulder it doesn't fit him but um um trim the, the the bit off the back of the pistol um so nothing special here there's no real kit bashing here this is just building the kit but i thought i'd uh show him off anyway and just talk about what i'm planning to do for the basing so those are bits of broken plaster of paris I, I, I make up big sort of oven tray sheets worth of plaster of paris that ranges from sort of five mil up to um 10 mil thick and then i smash it into bits and i can carve it into rocks and things added a bit of sand and things as well so that'll be my rock and i use that in you know, all, all the periods as, as rock it's really really handy it's easier to work them with flint and you can carve it in the same way and it looks like rock um but then i'm going to for the rest of it i will i'm going to use vallejo earth texture i'm going to use desert sand so i've already got some of the rocky bits in there but the smoother sand I'll, I'll do with that just you know little bits of fun things on the basis like i got one of the parachute uh, the parachute regiment um packs there with the with the mug on both him and his um his assistant his batman have got um got mugs they obviously like their cups of tea anyway that's the um that's the end of the video now really um, um really had loads of fun building these lots of character in the this kit i really enjoyed this kit and i can't wait to get started painting i really wish i had the the last two brain carriers and the last bit of inventory um just to get those finished off now the matilda can come later but i would like my whole thousand points thing i, I kind of regret now adding them in with the pre-order <laughs> um because i'd like to get them all done and primed and get the base colors down with an airbrush for the whole army i like to do big batch paints um but i'm either not going to paint anything until june when i get those pre-orders through or um i'll just have to make a start which i think i'll do anyway um but anyway um thanks for watching the video it was as i'm new to bolt action so comments and, and things and suggestions below would be fantastic um do check out the other videos on the channel um there's a few unboxings relating to the kits that i've bought for this um and there's lots of um acw american civil war stuff on the channel is quite new and young um at the moment whereas um miniature realms um isn't it's been i've been around painting for for a while just haven't done anything on youtube so uh, if, you, if you have come across this as a new thing um please subscribe and uh, i'll definitely be producing lots and lots more videos in the future thank you very much take care